Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. We are doing it today, we are going into Duswella Marsh. I've said this before, but not that any of you have seen, because I attempted to go here a couple levels ago with a full quest log, and uh, decided that it wasn't a good idea. We now have plenty of room in our quest log. We can pick up everything. I've done some of the introductory quests here, the breadcrumbs from the Shady Rest Inn that burned down. So we're kind of on the next steps of those. But besides that, I have accomplished nothing here. Tons of quests to pick up. We're going to try to get them... Do the circuit and get them all. Uh, because I'd like to work on as much as I can at the same time. So that's kind of the plan today. We're going to start by picking up a bunch of these, so... Victory let's get into it. Ahead. Twilight of the Dawn Runner. The ogres here are useful for little more than crude jokes, sour ale, and bouts of headbutting. When my ship, the Dawn Runner, ran aground, those curs from Theramor made off with my cargo and last surviving crewmen. I made my way here searching for help, but those god for good for nothing ogres stared blankly at me when I told them my story. I could use the help of a reliable torn in recovering what remains of my cargo and freeing Ithania from North Point Tower to the northeast. Hold your head high. All right. Overlord Mach Morak here has some concerns. We're not going to bow before him. <laughs> Rexar made me mighty leader of Stonemaw Clan. Me good leader. Me keep clan safe. What do you want us to do, Mach Mach? Go south and find my yummy grog. My snuff and my strongbox. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm, uh, so this is the black shield that we got from the Shady Rest Inn. We brought it back to the smith. He's going to investigate it to see what he can tell us. There's writing here on the rim of the shield, but it's hard to read from all the burned stuff. I need acid to make it clear. Venom from the Dark Mist Spiders would do good. It's funny how some of the ogres speak relatively normally, and others, they just make them sound like idiots. Mokra! Ah, uh, there are more spies. The Horde and Alliance hold an uneasy truth. Truce, outlying skirmishes, and covert actions are taken by one side against the other, and it is our duty to ensure the Horde is on top. Now is the chance to do just that. Alliance infiltrators have taken position east of Brackenwall Village. They spy on the village and report our movements to Theramore, which we cannot allow. Hunt down the infiltrators and slay them. Send a clear message to their superiors that we will not tolerate their spies' presence. Strength. Uh, check up on Tabitha. A human woman named Tabitha lives on a small farm near the middle of the marsh. Ordinarily, I wouldn't associate with a human, but her help has proven useful at times. Unfortunately, she's been out of touch for quite some time, and now I'm looking for someone to travel down to her farm and see if everything is alright. And, and help for mud sprockets. The Zeppelin carrying supplies to mud sprocket crashed, leaving them without vital tools, food, and, medi and medicinal supplies. The All right.
How are you doing? Careful, man. What you're looking for? All right, so yeah, it's good to have our first aid going up again. Uh, we can't, we can't uh, learn that yet, but I have more than enough bandages to get us to 180 and beyond, so I'll take care of that later. And yeah, it's going to be good to maybe have some useful bandages. Mok Morak was made overlord by Rexar. He care more for power than he care for ogres. Black dragons kill many ogres, kill Tharg's wife. Mok Morak tells us to run, make us come here. Ogre should fight. Ogre not good at running. Mok Marak care only about Mok Marak. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. What about in the cave here? Uh, identifying the brood. Whilst that craven fool Mok Marak wallows in power and Tharg wrestles the demons of sorrow and vengeance, and vies for leadership of the clan, I seem to be the only one concerned with identifying the source of aggression on our old home. Why the puzzled stare? Expecting me to speak like an uncouth ruffian merely because I'm an ogre? Uh, yeah, because Blizzard seems to think that that's how you guys should talk, like, you know, how all trolls sound the way they do, etc. Now back to business, he doesn't explain. <laughs> now back to business. Bring me the hearts and tongues from the whelps and hatchlings. I shall trace the root of this evil. And the hermit of Witch Hill. The marsh seems to have a strange effect on humans. Some grow mad simply by living here. Anyone who has ever settled at Swamp Light Manor has gone mad in a spectacular way. The latest owner, one Swamp Eye Jarl, is already showing signs. I don't completely understand what's happening here. You'd have my thanks for looking into it. Cool. I feel like there's a lot of cool stuff and a lot of cool stories that actually happen here, and I've never read any of the quests here. Um, haven't really quested here in Classic at all. We've tried to visit here on a couple of Alliance characters to quest out of Theramore, but nothing ever really came of it. Uh, we have lots of stuff going on over here. Hungry. Let's try to get these. Uh, man, I want to head over here. There's so much to do, guys. This is what it was. It was like, it was overwhelming to be here. <laughs> Simply overwhelming. Let's do the northern parts first. We're going to hit a bunch of uh, objectives here as much as we can. Maybe if I just start taking some things off the map, it'll make it a little bit easier. Let's go for Venom Sacks and Spies first. And we'll just kind of go from there, but I think that's a good place to start. I'm excited to be giving this place another try. Like I said, when I first came here, I had a full quest log. I, I couldn't take all the quests. I was a little bit lower level. Uh, but I think this is going to be good. I think it's going to be good because it, it's a relatively fresh zone for me that I have not spent hardly any time in. And I like that feeling. I like getting into zones in World of Warcraft, a game that I've played for over 16 years, and uh, having it feel new still. After all that time, there are still places that I have not thoroughly explored. I think that's absolutely amazing. So from these guys, we're looking for five acidic venom, venom sacks. Uh, we have infiltrators possibly over here to our to our east. And I'm assuming the infiltrators are going to be hanging out in stealth. So we'll, we'll hang out over here for a bit and focus spiders. I think that's going to be the best thing for me to do, is just kind of focus one thing at a time and uh, not worry about trying to do a bunch of objectives all at once or 
try to do objectives while traveling to places. I think we just tackle things one step at a time here. We're going to stick with the polearm for a while. If we start feeling like we're taking a lot of damage, we'll go back to the sword and board. But the polearm is good. I enjoy it. And it's dealing a good amount of damage. So today is the 24th as I'm recording this, tomorrow is the 25th, tomorrow the new EQ progression servers go up and I am planning to jump in. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I created a character uh, really quick yesterday on one of the existing servers just to kind of get in and to play with the controls a little bit. It is going to be interesting to try to learn this game. It's going to be really interesting. It took me a minute to figure out how to auto attack, and I'm not sure even then that I did it right. Let's just say that. As a little prelude. Figuring out how to auto attack. <laughs> that was something. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a cleric as well. We'll see. I know that there are other classes that solo better. I know we could probably solo better on something like a, a wizard which has a pet or a necromancer which also has a pet. But I think with a cleric, cleric we're going to be able to do some decent healing and I think we wear heavy armor. So that's kind of like the thing that I like. I really like paladin classes and cleric classes that can heal. There is a paladin as well but that is more of just a straight up tank with a little bit of healing. So yeah I think we're going to go cleric. Going cleric might get me into some more forgiving groups, so that you know if my if my damage and stuff isn't amazing, maybe I can keep some people alive. Speaking of keeping people alive, let's start with keeping us alive right here and now by eating some food. But yeah, I have no idea how it's gonna go. I'm gonna give it a try and see what you guys think about it, how you feel about it, get some feedback, and we'll just take it uh, one day at a time. I don't really want to go into the mine shaft unless we're sent there, and uh, maybe we will be sent in there for something else, but for now we're just going to focus these guys on the outside. This must be the, Cru the Crusader proc. Strength increased by a hundred. God, that is huge. That's huge. Alright. Well, there we go. That part of our map looks a little cleaner. Let's see if we can come over here and find a bunch of spies and make it look even better. Ah, uh, there are a lot of other types of enemies here that are not spies. I'm assuming that the spies are probably hanging out in stealth. But we're going to have a lot of other creatures to contend with, possibly, if we're not careful. That's what I've noticed about this place, is that it's, it's really dense. There's lots of enemies crammed together. I keep thinking I hear, oh, there you are. So I keep hearing the stealth animation. Oh, they're high elves, too.
wonder how many people are leveling here. Not a lot. Just a fellow Tauran warrior here, level 35. You're bold to be here at level 35, sir. I, I couldn't tolerate this place at level 38, so... Yeah, it took like level 40 and some plate, and now I feel good about trying it out. The few people who are here seem to be <laughs> right in this area. Hmm. Well, um, let's, let's maybe head over this way. It seems like we're going to have trouble finding all the infiltrators we need here. There, let's see, are there any more infiltrators anywhere? Some of them down here. Yeah, this seems really sparse. You know, I keep hearing that noise. But because these guys are not innately aggressive, it's really hard to find them. Usually with stealth enemies, you just have to wander close to them, and then they attack you, right? With these guys, they're in stealth, and they're not aggressive. So we have to find them, and attack them. And I can't seem to reveal any. This is incredibly weird. Yeah, I heard the noise right here, but... I have no idea what's going on. This might be a tough one, just trying to find these guys and reveal them. I don't really care for that. I d if you guys have seen me try to find stealth enemies before, like it's one of the things that bothers me. I, I don't like running in circles trying to reveal stealth enemies. Uh, it's not fun. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move on a little bit. How about that? Okay, this seems like a perfect place for an infiltrator to be, but nope. Yeah, other people are working on this quest, and that's going to make it damn near impossible for us to do it. Uh, these guys are sentries, they're not spies. So that really is not going to help us. You would think maybe there'd be like some spies hanging out here with them. But no, there aren't. Even though Questy seems to think that there could be, there aren't. Uh, in that case, we can come over here and uh, rescue Ithania and get the Dawnrunner cargo. Should be a little bit more straightforward. Got a Sergeant Lucas here who might have been for an Alliance quest. Pretty sure these are high elves as well.
I didn't see this third guy. I just totally missed him. I like that the guy up here is just kind of watching this happen. I appreciate that, because I don't know if we could take him too. We might have been able to. Took out three of them all at once. Uh, where are the supplies? Uh, we got, we got backup coming down here. Oh, good. Retaliation here would be good. Well, that was, that was, that was close, yeah. Did Balandar Brightstar send you to rescue me? Balandar sent me to get you out of here and reclaim his cargo. He's waiting for you in Brackenwall Village. The reckoning is at hand. Oh, there we go, we rescued her. I think I can make it to Brackenwall on my own. Um, people are attacking her. We're good, we got the ping that said she could make it on her own. I'm not gonna run out there and try to... Fight these guys, they don't seem interested in trying to come in here and fight us. And I still haven't found the cargo. It's not in any of these boxes or crates right here. So I'm going to assume that it has to be up. Yeah, it could have been worse. There could have been three or four guys up here. And yeah, here's the cargo. Apparently Captain Daryl here has respawned. Okay, we could do a few things. We could Let's scour the area over here for some more spies for a minute. We'll do another pass of all their little spawn points. And then I think we need to head over here and figure out what this is. Escort. It's an escort quest. Then speak to somebody in Ratchet. Uh, we're going to hold off on that. We'll come over here maybe and grab this stuff instead. But for now, let's see if we can find any more infiltrators. Maybe other folks have moved along and have kind of left the area.
Yeah, see, them not being aggressive makes it really hard. Oh. <laughs> Check my eyes off him for one minute. Yeah, we have a buddy. It really does seem to be near these little places where we see crates and lanterns that they, they seem to to spawn them. Let's uh, well besides being surrounded right now. Could have swore I heard the noise. Ah, uh, right there. Tricky tricky. Yeah, I swore I heard the noise here. Right there. Where the hell are they? I mean, part of it is I can't see. Can't see with all the stuff hanging in our face. Uh, but I just can't find this person. This is really crazy. I have to just come in here and kill these guys. I'm never gonna find this thing if, if I keep having to skirt around them. You'd think they would like be alerted to us being here, like fighting their friends. Uh, but apparently they, they don't care. Maybe I'll like hit them with a random thunderclap. Doesn't seem like it's happening.
Yeah, well, with all that, we, we still didn't reveal this person. Uh, they're still skulking around here somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Pretty sure we eventually need these guys for a quest. I don't think they would be here otherwise. I see our buddy here in stealth. Just caught her out of the corner of my eye. And there's another one right here to our left. Yeah, like clearing out the areas where they spawn is a good idea. Like trying to skirt around these guys makes it so much more annoying than simply fighting them. I have to remind myself of that and just fight them. It's kill experience. It's, it's worth it. And uh, they're not that hard to fight. One-handed dagger. Cool. It's an interesting dagger. Looks more like a military combat knife. Then it does a medieval dagger. Just saying. Well, we're not doing bad. We only need one more. Look at that, you were like right underneath us. Completely immobile. And yeah, that is that. I think now we could probably safely go back really quick and turn all this in before we do anything else. So yeah, let's go do that. Let's turn them in and see what they chain into and go from there. I think our next stop is going to be to go over here though. That's where I see the most green, right? A bunch of green there, a bunch of yellow everywhere else, so... Uh, nobody wants to deal with the crocodile. Nobody? 
No guards? Nothing? He's gone. We will persevere. Well done. As soon as Athania has had time to rest and my preparations are complete, we'll depart this sodden wasteland and head back to civilization. Uh, I don't really need any of this stuff. Stay the course. Blood and thunder. Good work, their infiltration skill are skilled. Their infiltrators even are skilled, but they're not good enough to escape the watchful eye of the horde. Two of our spies were sent to steal documents from a ship at the Theramore docks. They gained the papers, but were discovered, and they were forced to throw the documents into the sea. One spy later escaped, but was unable to recover the prize. He reported his failure to me, and now I charge you with the task. The documents are in a footlocker in the water somewhere beneath Theramore docks. Find the documents and bring them to me. It's convenient just to know the location of them. Uh, that's also level... 35 so we'll do this stuff we'll we'll come down here and get the documents carefully very carefully uh, and then we need to check up on Tabitha after all that I need to set my hearthstone here that would be you know a really smart thing to do uh, the black shield I think I might have dropped too much acid onto the shield just let me rub it a little hmm kind of hard to read but it looks like the name Mossarn Never heard of him. Maybe Krog knows. Krog knows many people. Is there not an innkeeper here? Oh, you are an innkeeper. Okay, let's... Let's do this first. Mossarn? Sounds familiar. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it'll come to me later. It probably isn't important. A shield can come from anywhere and not mean anything. Oh. Okay. Cool. So it probably means nothing. Okay. Looks like we are going to want to take the road here a little bit. It seems kind of mountainous, kind of rugged. It's a pretty different landscape than we've been used to traversing so far. Am I going to get dismounted here? Not if I jump. How are you? Have you come here to spy on me? No. I like cooking good swamp cooking, fried green frog legs and the like. Safe travels. King's honor, friend. What's haunting Witch Hill? I traveled out here to pay Jarl a visit and his at his new home, and it's been a non-stop horror show ever since. There's something seriously wrong here, and I can't be the only one who sees it. Have you seen the ghosts and corpses shambling about Witch Hill? I have a feeling that if anyone knows what happened here, it's them. Seek out these risen husk and risen spirits in the surrounding area, grant them rest through combat, and see what you can learn from them before this evil consumes Jarl. Alright, um... What can I do for you? For the and then the grave here. Sifting through the loose dirt, the severed hand of an orc is found. 
and clutched in the hand is a bone-carved tube, and in the tube is dirt-stained parchment. The parchment is a report made by an orc who spent weeks spying on the city of Theramore. After scanning the parchment, it is clear that it must be brought to the orc spymaster in Brackenwall Village. Alright, just bury a dead orc in your garden, no big deal. Uh, okay, we need the frogs, right? Yeah, we need their legs. Why have you come here, outsider? You will only find pain. Our fate will be yours. Okay. Darkness will consume all the living. Is there any chance we kill one of these and that we don't get a ping for information gathered? Is it like a chance or it seems to just be 100%? Go away whoever you are. Which hill is mine? Mine! Uh, no, it's not, buddy. Too late for Jarl, its hold is too strong. I don't think there are any frogs this far out. I think we have to head back closer to the to the house to find the rest of the frogs. It's too late for us, living one. Take yourself and your friend away from here before you are both claimed. Well, something really bad is happening, obviously.
Let's go on a little bit of a frog hunt here for a minute. Oh, it's funny, you, you can't tab target the frogs either. They're treated as critters, so... Yeah, let's head back. Alright, now he wants 20 unpopped dark mist eyes. I'm assuming those are spider eyes. Spiders have lots of eyes, lots and lots, and dark mist eyes are juicy and tasty. Smooth and salty, unpopped spider eyes. I taste them already. Yeah, something is obviously wrong with this man. Have a good one. Alright, cool. Greetings. Morden produces a small sheet of paper and a pen, beginning to scribble down notes on your findings. From your findings, the spirits in this place must amount to everyone who ever lived on this land, not just previous occupants. Something has been corrupting and killing them. Those who follow don't learn the truth until it's too late. We have to put an end to this. In my years as an herbalist, I've often observed that nature will provide subtle cures for the most vexing problems. I've read that hedge mages and witch doctors often use smoke of an herb known as witchbane to draw evil from its hiding place. If true, this would mean witchbane should grow near the shallow waters of Witch Hill. You should be able to identify it by its broad leaves and reddish stalk. Bring me any of the herb you can find. Be careful. It may be our only hope. Okay, I think I saw these. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this. Pretty obvious. Uh, not sure what's happening to us here. Latencies, 47 MS. That should still be fine, unless we've been completely disconnected, which it might be the case. Huh. Well, something isn't right. That's true. Now chat is still going. If we had DC'd, 
this wouldn't be going on. I'm going to try a little log out and back in. Everything seems to be busted. Alright, then we're going to try an Alt F4. Yeah, I don't know. I had trouble finding the servers for a minute when we came back in. I'm wondering if we're going to have more problems. Everything seems fine. I couldn't find any actual sign of a real problem, but when it was loading the servers back in upon login, it, uh... It's taken a minute to find them, so maybe the servers had a little blip. Didn't seem like it was anything going on on our end. And everything seems to be working okay now. Alright, that's seven out of nine. We need two more of those. Then we need to start heading a little bit to the west. We need to get over to the spiders. Oh, we've got some raptors over here. I've just kind of wandered right into a raptor. Dead. Of course they f***ing dismount me immediately. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> First time getting hit by one immediately dismounts us. Yeah. Well, I'm still not going to stop and fight them. Because we're probably going to need them for a quest later on. I'm not going to do this escort quest right now. Uh, I really, really hate the traditional escort quest in this game. They annoy me, so I'm probably not going to do it right now. We'll see if we do it eventually. It's probably not going to be the worst thing in the world if we just never do it. Quite a big zone, actually. It's a really, really large zone. It's lucky that we have a mount. I, I can't imagine ever doing this without having a mount. Alright, we need 20 unpopped eyes. I'm kind of hoping that they give us a few eyes a kill, at least. Like, maybe it's guaranteed we at least get a couple every kill. That'd be great. Fingers crossed. We got two from that one. 
Which, you know, if we got two from each of them, that would be absolutely fine with me. We are contending with a Tauren Druid here for kills. He's level 36. These people who are here prior to level 40 are really brave. I commend them. Um, I, I wish they weren't here killing my spiders, but... Pretty brave to be here at that level. I wasn't going to do that. Oh, hi. You're like literally right here hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and get some health back here. We do need to buy some more food next time we're in town, but for right now we should be okay. We'll clear into here a little bit further and then we'll head back out. I'm sure the ones outside are probably starting to respawn by now, if they haven't already. All right, yeah, we only need two more, so let's let's make our way back out of this place before we get respawns popping in behind us and we're forced to fight our way out. Let's just head out on our own. Yeah, here we go.
really didn't want to fight anymore. Uh, but I didn't want to leave the loot behind. Alright, there we go. Let's head back over here and we'll turn this in. And then I think I'm going to hearth back to Brackenwall Village and get that stuff turned in as well. Oh, Jesus. Why is this happening? <laughs> I don't like that. That's a good way to get us killed. So far I've really enjoyed it here. I'm, I'm glad that we came here. This is going to be really good for us. I feel like we can get a few levels here. Maybe then finish up some stuff in Stranglethorn and maybe we'll be ready for Zulfurak around level 44 or 45. And by Zulfurak, I mean the zone in which Zulfurak is. Rest Tanneris? Is it Tanneris? Yeah. Tanneris. Yeah, we'll be ready for Tanneris. Ah, uh, well, yeah, 45 would be a decent place to start. Ideally, we'd be 46. Some stuff over here, too. You need something? Let's give him his eyes. You got the eyes. Tasty, tasty spider eyes. Some eyes, when you stare at them, they stare back. Eat those last. They keep you company out in the swamp. I have cutting to do. I can't tell you what I'm going to cut, but I need myself a blade. A certain blade. Some people call it a sword. I call it a swing blade. Okay. You help me? Those fishmen, you know, murlocs or whatever they're called? There's one that they call Razor Spine, carries a big sword, lives north of here near the beach. That's the sword I need. See you later. He's gonna chop his buddy up here. Well met. Were you able to gather any of the herb? Yes. Morden accepts the bunch of herbs from you. These match the description exactly. I prepared the torch while you were out. All that remains is to fasten the herbs to the end here. The torch is ready. Plant it at the end of the dock and be prepared to face whatever comes forth. I have no idea what the torch's smoke may reveal, if anything emerges at all. I must say, I have my doubts about this kind of folk magic, but we haven't time for anything else. For your sake and Jarl's, I wish you luck. Light bless you. Okay, cool. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, do this now. So as long as it's not an elite, we should be okay. Uh, we don't have any cooldowns up, so... Kinda hoping it's just not an elite. This land was mine long before your wretched kind set foot here. All who venture here belong to me, including you. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Zelfrax. Not sure where you come from, Zelfrax. But I'm really happy that you're not an elite.
Morgan's honor, friend. Is it over? It worked? Mordant clears his throat. I mean, it worked. Jarl and I are in your debt. Now the only remaining problem is my friend's taste in furniture. And I'm afraid that won't be so easily solved. Oh, and he wants to eat eyes and stuff. I don't think we're quite done here. Uh, let's see. Those aren't going to be an upgrade. None of this is an upgrade, right? Go with honor, friend. Oh, yeah, just... Light be you should you. probably let us turn this in, please. For the alliance. There we go. Well, I thought about hearthing back, but if it's going to be so easy to find, maybe we just go get this blade now. It has a very precise location marked in Questy, so let's come up here and check it out and see if that is in fact where it's going to be or if it's just kind of a chance for him to spawn there. I don't remember any of this, so I have no idea. Oh yeah, he's there. Yeah, definitely, definitely there. Let's see if we can drop the other stuff following us. Pretty sure we're gonna get a different quest to come deal with these murlocs. But hey, there we go, we got the sword. Uh, the last thing I want to do is I, I kind of want to head south here, and I, I want to get this. So let's try to see if we can use the coastline to do that. Um, ideally, we don't run up to, into, or near the gates of Theramore at all, so coming along the coast could be our best bet. And then once we have that, that'll be the time that we want to hearth out of there. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not true. We should definitely go up here and return this to Jarl first, just in case he has a follow-up. And yeah, he doesn't seem to have any other quest for us, which is absolutely fine with me. Uh, so, we'll, we'll take the road for a minute. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have to not take the road all the way down there, obviously. We have to maybe peel off around here and go into the water. But yeah, hey, level 41, we, we are making some good progress now that we're here. I am pretty happy about all this. Uh, what do we want to do here? Second wind, whenever you are struck by a stun or immobilized, you will generate 10 rage and 5% of your health. Do we get, this seems really good, but it seems more of like a PvP thing, you know what I mean? Like, this would be pretty amazing in PvP, I have to think, with all the people trying to stun you and lock you down. You're just sitting there gener generating rage and healing. That'd be pretty amazing. Your rend and deep wounds also increase all physical damage caused to that target. Uh, yeah. I think maybe that's where we go for now. Yep, blood frenzy it is. Alright, we are getting pretty close here. Let's get to the coast. And now comes the slow part. Yeah, just swimming all the way out there is going to be pretty rough. Maybe we can get up on this land here and mount up. Might work for a minute. Hope we don't aggro anybody through the wall, that would suck.
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump in here and not press our luck with those guards that I saw over to the right. Let's not press our luck. Just some non-aggressive plesiosaurs, no big deal. Okay, yeah, I think that uh, it's a good place to use our hearth. We have made a lot of progress here today. Uh, the lost report first. You have something for me. Good work. Our agent Marg Nighteye was stationed outside Theramore. He was charged to spy on the city. This is his la latest report, and it may be his last from your testimony. I fear that Marg met his end in the swamp. Did you find those documents? They hold information vital to the stability of the Alliance and hence vital to the security of the Horde. Yep, we found them. I commend you. This was not an easy mission, but the documents you gained are valued greatly by our superiors. For the Horde. For the Horde. Okay, guys. This is a great stopping point. I've had a lot of fun here today in Dust Swallow Marsh. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. And, of course, thank you for being here. A special thank you to those of you who are with me on Patreon and who are members on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for that. That is the direct support that will allow me to keep doing what I do long into the future. Thank you so much to those that do. Everybody take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in the swamps sometime again really soon. Bye now.